You went wild over the Hunger Games. You went less wild over Divergent. Now, prepare to be mildly interested in another franchise that panders to the exact same demographic in the hopes that they'll make enough money to split the last book into two movies. The Maze Runner. Strap in for yet another post-apocalyptic YA thriller, starring yet another diverse group of teenagers rising up against the evil grown-ups who get thrown into yet another unrealistic life-or-death scenario, which this time around is a maze filled with robot spiders built to test the survivors of a zombie virus that came to Earth when part of the sun exploded. Huh, that sounds dumb. Welcome to The Glade, a society of grown men actors playing teenage boys who spend their days farming, dancing, and exploring instead of just jerking off all the time. There's newcomer Thomas, the handsome and brave protagonist, and, uh, that's really all there is to say about him. Gally, the bully with resting bitch face. Albie, the black guy who's killed off twice. Chuck, the only fat tweed in a society of able-bodied Abercrombie and Fitch models. And eventually, a girl who does so little for the plot, she could be replaced by a houseplant and it wouldn't make a damn bit of difference. She's the last one ever. What the hell does that mean? It means she just became the most popular kid in the Glade. This ain't your average dauntless quarter quell. Prepare for a whole new world of ridiculous made-up names for simple English words like Welcome to the Glade. Never harm another Glader. Greedy! Greedy! We call them Grievous. We call them Blades. It's called the Changing. We called it the Flare. This shank needs to be punished. Winston, he's the keeper of the slices. I clunked my pants three times before they got me out of the pit. Ugh. Guess they're still better than Abnegation and Hamish Abernathy. Lose yourself in the twisting maze of a plot that will leave you with unanswered questions like How does anyone know what a griever is if they only come out at night and no one has ever survived a night in the maze? No one's ever survived a night in the maze. Why does it rain in the glade when the rest of planet Earth is a scorched wasteland? And why don't any of these hormone-filled boys show more interest when a girl finally shows up? And if these kids are humanity's last hope for survival, why are the scientists trying to kill them all off with robot spiders? Oh, and since when does a solar flare cause a virus that turns you into a zombie? And how could trapping a bunch of teenage boys in a maze possibly be the solution to any of society's problems? Hello? Anyone? So follow along with our heroes as they sprint to a conclusion that will leave you more lost than lost, that answers absolutely none of the characters' questions, or your own. But since it's aimed at teenagers, it does let everyone know that they're really, really special. You may not realize it, but you're very important. She said we were important. What are we supposed to do now? Uh, make two or three more of these movies, I guess? Man, I should really write a YA trilogy. Starring the following YA movie cliches. A bland pale hunk. A Kristen Stewart lookalike. A dangerous test or arena. Dead teenagers. Diversity. An evil government. The leader of the evil government dressed in white. A vague, unexplained catastrophe. The innocent little kid whose death motivates the protagonist. One good actor. Slight variations on the same outfit. Spooky future animals and the love triangle. Wait, there wasn't a love triangle in this? <laughs> wow, huge oversight. The Hunger Maze. Seriously, that guy's eyebrows are so distracting. Is he surprised? Confused? Angry? What is your face, dude? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Every bison dollar will be worth five British pounds. Wipe them out, all of them. I smell like Doritos. Don't say anything, just laugh your ass off. Oh. <laughs> oh, my ass fell off. I hate, I hate, I hate Peter Pan. I don't know how my balls got deflated. They felt fine to me.